hi it's miss roosevelt and welcome to my channel back in january of 2015 i started walking with a desire to run um, my goal is to run miles and miles and miles without stopping not quite there yet but i will get there um, i wanted to come today to share with you the gear that i am using to help me to be able to accomplish my goals when it comes to running um now when i first started my walking and running i started with the the shoes that i had and the clothes that I had. I didn't do anything extra because walking is free. You don't have to do anything in order to do it. Just get out and hit the pavement. And that's what I did. But as I started progressing and getting more serious about my walking and then wanting to run, I realized that I really needed to invest in me if I was going to be able to do the walking and running for miles and miles and miles without stopping, without injuring myself at all. And you can get major injuries from walking um, improperly. So I'm going to share with you today some things that I have, some gear that I have to help me reach my goals. The best investment that I made in my walking and running career <laughs> is purchasing some running shoes and these are the shoes that i purchased i went to a local running sh uh, shoe store and got fitted for shoes and these are the Saccone omni shoes and um immediately i could tell the difference of walking and running in these shoes than in the shoes that i was running with previously um when you walk or run in the right shoes then it really helps to eliminate um uh, the pains in your knees down your shins if, if you've been walking and you've been getting those types of pains and maybe you need to really go to your local uh, running store running shoe store and inquire about being fitted for some shoes they'll watch you walk they'll watch you run and then they'll give you several pair and then these were the ones that felt um most comfortable to me and once i purchased the shoes my walking and my running actually got better my um, times even got better so uh, my form was a lot better once I got the proper shoes and then with uh, purchasing shoes you have to get new socks now I purchased these socks from Ross and these are athletic socks and you definitely want to find athletic socks and they have like a um, compression type area right in the middle and along the ankle and stuff but um, they help to keep your feet dry and they also help to give support to your arch and ankles so make sure that um, so I wanted to make sure that I had really good socks when I started my walking and my running now the next best gear that I purchased for my walking and running is a sports bra to help to um, support my tatas. Now I wear a sports bra, I wear a regular bra and then I put my sports bra on top of that to really help support me. For you little ladies, you may only need a sports bra and that's awesome if that's what you need. But for me, I have to do both. Um, if I don't wear a sports bra, then it's possible I will knock myself out um, and I'll be laying out on the street somewhere, okay? <laughs> I did purchase some fitness clothes. I don't have a huge wardrobe of fitness clothes, but I have found out that when I walk and run in my just regular t-shirt and shorts, it can really, the bulkiness of the material can really hinder my walking and running because it's just in the way this is too much so I purchased like some fitness shirts and these are polyester shirts that I purchased and it really helps to keep my body dry as I am walking and running and I don't have to worry about all of that sweat and coming in all wet I also purchased some um, fitness pants I have some yoga pants and these are kind of like tight pants um and they and like i said it just eliminates the pressure of having to worry about all the bulkiness from your other clothes and it keeps you super dry um while i am working out which i really like that i also purchased this little handy dandy um 
uh, phone holder sleeve thing. Um, and when I first purchased it, it was too small to go around my arm. So I actually had to wear it down on my uh, forearm or close to my wrist because it was it was just too well my arm was too big for it <laughs> but um uh, but this really helps to keep your phone on you and keep it out of the way so you don't have that um the cords all hanging down and you having to worry about your phone because i'm really looking to burn calories to be able to lose weight i wanted to have a way to track the amount of calories that i was actually burning when i was doing my walking and running so i decided to purchase um, a heart rate monitor and i purchased the polar f27 heart monitor watch and it comes with a chest strap that i place on before i go running and it really helps me to know exactly how many calories i am burning based on the amount of time my heart rate and all of that and it really helps me be more accurate with my calorie counting i also use the phone app map my walk and with map my walk it helps me to um keep up with the amount of miles that i'm running and that way i can track exactly what i'm doing it also helps me to keep up with the number of miles that i am placing on my running shoes okay and if you want to know more about anything that i am that i talked about today let me know down in the comment section i would love to do more videos like this because we do want to get healthy we do want to get fit and i can um oh and another thing too is i read anything that i am interested in i try to take the time to read as much as i can about it so that i'm just not out you know doing whatever i want to do but it's actually a method to the madness okay so i'm trying to read up on um perfect form perfect breathing and all of that and if you want to hear more about that we can discuss more of that uh just let me know down in the comment section y'all have an amazing day and i will talk with y'all later bye bye